The notion of a man-made machine exploring the very structure of the universe is a strange thing to think about, even though science often aims to help us understand the world around us better. Still, some believe there are mad scientists who hope to transport us to an alternate universe, springboard toward the gates of hell, or even harness the power of a black hole. On July 5th, CERN fired up their large particle accelerator, leading many to speculate about the more unknown implications of scientific experimentation and the secrets of the vast universe. So will CERN's latest project help us make bold new discoveries, or will it make us meet our ultimate demise? Let's talk about it. Welcome to Cosmos Lab, your one station for all the news from space. Join us in today's video to find out what is happening inside CERN that no one can explain. Located on the Franco-Swiss border, CERN is officially known as the European Organization for Nuclear Research. This might be the first time you've heard of CERN, but the organization has actually been around for quite a while. Founded in 1952, the organization is known for providing world-class physics research with a focus on understanding the atom. But what is CERN's relationship with atoms? Before we dive into that, we need to understand what is the Large Hadron Collider. Located at the CERN's Particle Physics Laboratory just outside Geneva, Switzerland, the Large Hadron Collider, otherwise known as LHC, is essentially a mighty atom smasher. According to CERN, the LHC is the world's most powerful particle accelerator. Using a ring of superconducting magnets, it was designed by scientists to test theoretical predictions in particle physics. Scientists hope the LHC will help them get answers to questions such as, what is dark matter? What is dark energy? Why is there more matter than antimatter? Now that we are aware of what CERN is, let's talk about what's going on inside this gigantic laboratory. Recent Mashable report from physicists announced they had discovered three exotic particles they could not explain. According to the news, physicists at the world's largest atom collider have observed three new exotic particles as they continue to search for clues about the mysterious forces that bind subatomic particles together. Observation of the particles, a new type of pentaquark, and the first duo of tetraquarks came on a momentous day at CERN, the Geneva lab, which also fired up its Large Hadron Collider again after a three-year hiatus with the machine's most powerful beam of energy yet. The restart, following painstaking maintenance and repairs, offers another chance for a global network of scientists to look for the strong force that holds together the nuclei of atoms. The strong force is one of four forces that govern the decay of particles, including electromagnetic force, gravity, and the weak force. This month also marks the 10th anniversary of the confirmation of the Higgs boson, a milestone at CERN that helped to solidify the so-called standard model, which accounts for the basics of particle physics. The Higgs, named after the Nobel Prize winning physicist who theorized it, helps give all matter its mass and is thought to have been present at the creation of the universe moments after the Big Bang. 13.7 billion years ago. But physicists still have questions about the Higgs, and they're looking beyond the standard model. It's the most comprehensive one we have, but it doesn't explain where gravity comes from, what dark matter is, or why there is so much more matter than antimatter in the universe. But how does LHC actually work? Around LHC's giant underground ring, stretching beneath 27 kilometers of countryside across the Swiss-French border. A series of superconducting magnets help propel subatomic particles to near light speed in order to smash them together as powerfully as possible. 
In particle accelerators like this, slamming protons together at high energy can produce tiny fragments of the universe not normally seen, as in a car crash where more explosive collisions result in smaller fragments. The higher the energy, the higher the chance that the LHC's detectors will be able to help researchers pick up traces of the tiniest, most exotic particles. Along with new magnets, which must be kept at a cool negative 271.3 degrees Celsius, just colder than outer space, CERN's engineers have turned the beams of protons up to unprecedented energies to produce collision energies of 13.6 trillion electron volts, up from 13 TeV in the previous run. 1 trillion electron volts is roughly the energy of a flying mosquito, but for a subatomic particle, that's a lot of energy. CERN says the beam racing across the ring will eventually carry as much energy as a train going 150 kilometers per hour. In addition, the particle beams will be denser too, further increasing the probability of a collision and the chance of producing Higgs bosons finding new particles and perhaps new physics. Among the highly sought after prizes is the axion, a particle thought to not emit, absorb, or reflect light. It's one leading contender for the makeup of dark matter, the mysterious stuff that physicists think account for 85% of the matter in the universe. Talking about the newly discovered particles, the first ever pair of tetraquarks and the new pentaquark discovered in turrets of data gathered during previous research at the LHC will help explain how subatomic particles form. The particles that make up the mass of most ordinary matter, like the protons and neutrons that make up the nuclei of atoms, are known as hadrons, and the more exotic hadrons are made up of two or three elemental particles, called quarks. But six decades ago, physicists began theorizing that in rare cases, these combos can form four quark and five quark particles. Only in the past decade have these so-called tetraquarks and pentaquarks actually been observed by the LHC and other experiments. The new pentaquark is the first found to contain a strange quark. We're witnessing a period of discovery similar to the 1950s when a particle zoo of hadrons started being discovered and ultimately led to the quark model of conventional hadrons in the 1960s. Physicist Niels Tuning said in a statement, We're creating Particle Zoo 2.0. With that, we have come to the end of our video. What are your thoughts on today's video? Share with us in the comments section below. If you like the content, do give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more. Until next time, have a great day and thank you for watching.